in the early days it was pretty pretty sparse. It wasn't filled up with everything. But over the years, as the honors came, he he, he wanted them around him, and he wanted the memories of the people that he dealt with. So he added to it. As we began to deal with bigger companies, he wanted to have an office that would make them feel more like we were a substantial business and we were going to, you know. Uh, be staying in business, so he, he had this fancy office. Did you dad with the Queen Mother? Yes. When he reopened the old thing? And there was a blessing down here from the Pope on his birthday. There's just hundreds and hundreds of awards and accolades from prime ministers and royalty. An honorary membership in Actors' Equity. Yeah. Did he do any acting? I think he did a lot of acting, but it wasn't on stage. The painting up above is of the town of Pusitano, and that was actually painted by Tony Bennett. When I was 17, my mother did this head of me. I looked like that when I was 17. Of course, there was a lot of great visitors uh, to his office when they were in town. A lot of people from the theater, a lot of uh, special people. When That's... Fidel Castro succeeded in Cuba, Dad gave a, a, a tractor to the people of Cuba at the baseball game. That's a 300-year-old uh, Torah. Mr. Mervish uh, purchased a pair of them. One of them is in the room, and we kept the other one in the office. The far wall over here behind us used to uh, used to be curtains behind there, and it was wide open. So you'd see the, the lineups of the customers. That's right, all that. You know, we used to have meetings in here. The time you got out of the meeting, all the customers and all the staff knew about. They knew was more than walk. anyone in the. <laughs> so we sealed this. We sealed up that uh, wall. You know, have a little bit of privacy. Where did the sword come from? <laughs> So many turkey giveaways over the years. Originally, they weren't being given away. They were the door crashing, crashing special. As times got tougher, he kept lowering the prices till finally he got to the best price of all, which was zero. There were a couple legendary uh, wrestlers once came into the office. They said, Ed, when we finish the match and we win, yes. he said, we're going to pick you up and take you into the ring. He said, and you know, and you know, wave to everybody and have a good time. And that was uh, Roger saying, your dad said, yeah, what if you don't win? Don't worry, we're going to win. <laughs> <laughs> and every year we'd make a cake out on the street. And uh, then in this corner, we'd actually put a real piece of cake. Your father biting into those, their granules, David. You know, yes. and your, your mother oh, yeah. saying, Ed, you're going to get sick. You know, he says, the camera's rolling. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of good memories.